Weather Authority with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We have a very rainy start to our day. You can see that on the camera lens and on the roadways out of our Graber Post Buildings cam this morning. Not a good start. Definitely have an umbrella handy or a raincoat. Honestly, probably both and your rain boots bring all that out this morning. 51 degrees is the temperature right now, so we are starting about 5 to 15 degrees warmer than this time yesterday, but temperatures are not going to beat that 70 that we hit yesterday. So not going to be as nice out there by any means. 48 in Paris, 50 in Effingham, 51 in Olney, and then 49 in Robinson. So we talked about how it's rainy already. We're picking up almost half an inch already in the Mattoon area. Four tenths of an inch or a little bit shy of that in Effingham, closer to one tenth here at home. And then Crawfordsville and Washington, those are the only two places at this point in time that are not picking any rain up, but quite the system packing the punch in several states. And actually, there were 22 confirmed or at least reported tornadoes yesterday in the state of Texas. 21 of those were in Texas, one was in Oklahoma. So still packing the punch. And as it kind of passes the cold front, these are all sparking ahead of that. But it's the same system bringing us some heavy rain this morning. No no severe weather, just lots of heavy rain, and then we're also going to see windy conditions. Out west of here, though, on the trail end of that system, it's actually prompting blizzard warnings in the state of Kansas, also near the Amarillo area. So Texas had blizzard warnings yesterday before they saw or after they saw severe thunderstorms, and then a similar area, or at least a little bit southeast of that area, saw some tornado warnings. So here closer to home, like we talked about, just some heavy rain on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Very widespread, though, in this heavy coverage this morning. That's going to pretty much last the next 48 hours. Not so much the heavy rain, but just rain in general. We are going to keep popping up these scattered showers. They will be numerous though over to do Tuesday into Wednesday and into Thursday. You can see this is playing out as we head into this evening. Another line of maybe a couple thunderstorms and some heavy rain embedded with that. That's that yellow orangish color. We're not tracking any severe weather here today. As we get into the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning, another round of showers. Same with by we're starting the afternoon off tomorrow and into the morning hours on Thursday. So it's really going to be a wet next 48 hours. So like I said, have that umbrella handy. But you can see there's no severe weather prompting anywhere across the Wabash Valley. Kind of by the Cincinnati or west of the St. Louis area, there is parts that's under a marginal rest. That's only a level one out of five. But check out in the deep south again, there is a moderate risk. And the Storm Prediction Center was highlighting that area seven to eight days out. That's the warning then. There's lots of uh, watches already and probably going to see another tornado outbreak in those states of Louisiana and then Mississippi and then the surrounding states as well. That was for today. This is for tomorrow. So towards the Indianapolis area, east of our area, could see a couple strong to severe thunderstorms. The better chances, though, is that slight risk in that level two out of five, kind of like Raleigh and then south of the Atlanta area. So probably not going to see much here at all. Maybe a couple stronger storms, though. The big thing, obviously, the heavy rain and then the gusty winds that we are expecting. Later this afternoon, they're going to kick up to up to 25 miles per hour. Those are sustained winds, so gusts are going to be stronger than that. So be prepared for heavy rain and then gusty winds as we get through the next 48 hours. But today's high, unfortunately, nowhere near that 70 that we hit yesterday, only 55. Still above average, but we are dealing with rain today. The overnight low then will be cooler, 54 degrees. We also are going to see rain. That's a little warmer than today, or what we woke up with today, but then we're going to start to see cooler overnight lows. 59 Wednesday and 46 on Thursday. Shelby?